if I read the headline, you so very very you know uh, surprised or rather you will be astonished. And they also, in other words, it sounds uh, so very very funny or thereabout. But the fact is that the truth must be told. I see kings have been removed from power before August uh, 2023. Pastor E.A. Adeboye says in a new report, again in a new prophecy, said, I see kings have been removed from power before August uh, 2023. Pastor E.A. Adeboye says it in a new report of prophecy. During uh, Sunday's uh, special Sunday service, the general overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, RCCG, uh, Pastor E. Adebuye, released a new prophecy saying, Kings will be removed from power before August 2023. Strengthening uh, the faith of uh, believers, he stated and also started by saying, The stubborn walls of Jericho hmm, that uh, refused to, to fall until God uh, intervened, God was aware when the uh, construction started. <laughs> okay. Again, strengthening uh, the faith of uh, believers. He uh, started by saying, The stubborn walls of Jericho uh, that refused to fall until God intervened. God was aware when the uh, construction started. Uh, this is to say, uh, which is that if God has the power to make kings, he equally has the power to remove kings. Prophesying alongside, he said, there are some people who have uh, made themselves uh, themselves again. There are some people who have made themselves uh, gods, who have uh, sworn that you will not succeed in life, and who have uh, vowed that uh, you will not uh, repeat the uh, reap the fruit of your labor. Mm, that the Jew said, I should tell you that he made them. Therefore, before August 2023, uh, Daddy Gio is going to remove uh, kings from power for your sake, or God will do that according to what Daddy Gio has said. Oh, yes, uh, that strong man will be removed for you to go forward. Strong man can be a replica of humans, strong man can be a challenge. Uh, the walls of Jericho might be. A challenge that some persons face and then they need you know breakthrough from it uh, the word that has been said using that as a replica you know through prayers which is the positive aspect says all the jericho walls that are forming stumbling block against your you know progress or rather all the red sea that are wiggling you and that does not want you to move forward that you will see them and pass over and see them no more something like that but in this case, for Allah, for those that can, you know, listen very carefully to know what prophecy is all about. Because he said that there are some people who have made themselves a God, who have sworn that you will not succeed in life, and who have vowed that you will not reap the fruit of your labor. Oh my God. Daddy Gio said, I should tell you that he made God made them. In other words, some people... You know believe uh, without them you know the other person or the kind of uh, narrative they want to portray if that person does not follow that that means uh, since they are god that means the person must be subject to them in other words the person might be you know looking for the best best of that person want the best for that person but in other words since the person has it in mind uh, that until that you know this person does this thing or there's a firm family general a generational cause or there is a thread somewhere concerning something that does not befit somebody that assumes himself as god or thereabout uh, that if uh, god willing uh, he should be the only billionaire in their street so that they will keep coming and begging them or thereabout hmm. it's so very far but in other words uh, so many comments are you know are putting us directly to you know to get the point which Adebuye made because some people still may not still understand all narratives may not allow us to understand much much more hmm. the comment section and uh, i can't say but uh it includes uh, to be more specific 
Says the Spirit of God. Oh my God. People are prophesying as per Tinubu's case. Uh, okay, Tinubu is the strong man. Or is the prayer. I don't know. Well, let me read something. Maybe uh, that is why this person is giving us his narrative as per Tinubu, giving us Tinubu as a case study. Uh, strengthening the faith of, of, of believers. He started by saying. The stubborn walls of Jericho that refused uh, to fall until God intervened. God was, was aware when the construction started. Okay, this is to say that if uh, God has the power to make king and uh, make kings, He equally has the power to remove kings. Okay, prophesying He said there are some people who have made themselves gods who have sworn that you will not uh, succeed. That is where the point is. But in other words, Tinubu or not Tinubu, because I don't know where that one is coming from. You know, according to you know the storyline which said he, on Sunday service, which is a special service, the general overseer of the redeemed the Christian Church of God, RCCG Pastor E. Adeboy released a new prophecy saying kings will be removed <laughs> from power before God's twenty three. But he later further says those kings that are disturbing your life that does not want your progress, those are the kings that will be removed. That is what uh, the narrative you know said one side. But in other words, if you want to make it broad, uh, Pastor Adebo might have sp- spoken the word of God, but you know, it's not left for us to think positive and to be on the positive and the safer side. Tinubu should be removed. Why? So many people are just telling us about Tinubu. The man of God is talking about his church members or talking to his church members. Now, nobody can remove Tinubu. All enemies of Tinubu continue your amens in vain. Okay. Somebody said, when he removed, when he is removed, okay, which is Tinubu, you will go and die because Bola Ahmed Tinubu is bound to be disgraced from office. Oh. It will shock and uh, choke you. Okay. Let the useless uh, demonic uh, Bola Ahmed Tinubu meet Satan one on one on this matter. He will be removed and disgraced. Oh, my. Mark this word. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Someone says that nobody can remove Tinubu, but God Almighty can, and we remove him. Oh, okay. Someone says, Let's, uh, let us see. Let justice reign in Nigeria. May the prophecy come to pass. Okay, what kind of prophecy? Because many things have gone wrong, and lastly, I'm tired of it. Trekking. Okay, let everybody attribute whichever prayer to themselves. Hmm. Well, child. She insults again, oh, if not before the pastor will be insulted, but now that everyone is suffocating, everybody was shouting amen to easy Tinubu and uh, to easy Tinubu off the target or put him out of the office and Nigerian is itching everyone. Okay, okay. Now, the pastor was not talking about any personality in power, one, rather he was referring to all principalities. The wicked spiritual power in high places working against our progress. And as God destroyed the walls of Jericho, he will equally uh, destroy all enemies of our progress. Okay, Please don't twist Barbara's uh, prophetic declaration. He is not referring to any earth uh, kings on earth or government. Well, prayer has been said, either good or bad, let's see. Uh, this is where I'm going to draw the curtain. I like it to, you know dwell in the comment section don't forget to, to subscribe subscribe to our youtube channel at independent tv so thank you for listening and god bless you